Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. One of the greatest gifts given to us through Christ Jesus, I would say, is the freedom that he has given to us as human beings and, of course, those who accept him as their Lord and Savior. And when we say freedom, we're talking about freedom in every facet of life, including freedom where relationship issues or matters are concerned. Right now, as we speak, there are so many individuals who feel as though they have to remain in the relationship in which, in which they are. And some of these relationships are relationships that are very abusive. There are people or one of the parties involved is either being verbally abused, physically abused, emotionally abused, mentally abused, sexually abused. When people are in these relationships of which they're very much aware or conscious, and no matter how much people point out to them that they need to go, they remain nonetheless. It's, it's saying something. It's telling us that the person is actually tied. Because no person in their right mind or no person who can do better in a situation of abuse and doesn't do better is acting of self. It cannot be self that is doing it. When we love ourselves, we take care of ourselves, don't we? And part of taking care of ourselves is escaping from hostile situations and hostile people, including people in our relationships. And so tonight, by the Spirit of the Lord, I wish to, through prayer and through the grace of God through Christ, break some people loose. If you cannot leave and you want to, if you feel trapped, but you just cannot make that move, I want to loose you today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The approach that I want us to take today is an interactive one because I like to hear the stories behind the entrapments. And so I want those of you who are in the situations of bondage, you're tied. You feel as though you are tied. You sense it, you know it. Because you want to leave, but for some reason you can't. There is a fear factor that you're dealing with. There's something going on and you can't quite put your fingers on it, but you know it's not right. You know it is something unnatural. If you are one such person or you know someone, I'm going to give you a Zoom number and passcode to enter the room because I want to hear what the situation is. Are you tied? Are you a man who's tied today? Are you a woman who is tied? Do you feel like something was done to stop you from moving forward from this relationship? Do you feel like some witchcraft is involved? Do you notice some strange things ever since a particular incident occurred? If you are saying yes, I'm going to give you this information to take down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I want you who have already joined to put it in the comment section for me. Hallelujah. The meeting ID is 
856-7304-5464. That's 856-7304-5464. And the passcode is 284834. That's 284834. Could you just write them together for the benefit of those people who would like to join and who will be joining the broadcast in the next few seconds or minutes? Again, the meeting ID is 856-7304-5464. And the passcode is 284834. The reason you're going to be dialing in is because you feel like you are tied in a relationship. You feel as though there is a force holding you in that relationship and you want to come out. That is the reason for the Zoom information. If you have other issues, this Zoom is not for those other issues. It's for people who are tied, men and women alike who are actually tied. Now, please turn your Bible with me in the interim to Isaiah chapter 61. And the word of the Lord reads thus. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to blind or bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn, to appoint unto them who mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. But you shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall you boast yourselves. For your shame you shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Before I let in those people who are waiting in the waiting room, just lift up your hands, those of you who are here with us. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, Spirit of God, that you will be breaking some chains, you'll be breaking into pieces, some tying devices, Lord. We thank you, Father, that you have already released the anointing to set the captives free. We decree that this is an atmosphere of freedom. This is an atmosphere of deliverance. This is an atmosphere where your people will come out of their captivity. This is an atmosphere in which the fear will become fear, fearless. The fearful will become fearless. The doubtful will become confident. We thank you, Lord, that this is an atmosphere of transformation. It is an atmosphere of empowerment, Lord, because as the word seeps through the hearts of your people, they will be empowered. They will be, oh glory to God, strengthened. I thank you, Father, that you have appointed this time for some of your men and women. And we decree that not one of them who was intended to be set free in this hour 
will miss out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord God, that you'll be breaking these individuals loosed tonight by your power, by your spirit, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, Shan, how are you doing? Oh, by the way, I'm not showing the faces of the people who are calling. Just want to keep that confidential. You're only going to hear their voices. Shan, can you take your microphone off mute so we may hear you? Thank you. How are you doing? Shan? Hi, Shan, can you hear us? Hello? Shan, can you hear us? So Shan is not hearing us, so I guess she'll have to try again. Let's move on to someone else. Perhaps this other person will hear. We're losing people who are tied in relationships. Hi, Miss Janet. Janet. Hi, good night. Hello, good night, Miss Anglin. How are you doing? I'm okay. Okay, Janet, what is your situation? Uh, just give me a minute. Let me just put my earphones in. Okay. Please. Yeah, take your time. As you join, please share so that as many people who are tied as possible can experience their freedom. Thank you so much in advance. It does look a little blurry on YouTube. Mm. All right, don't be too long, Sha um, Janet. All right. Yeah. Um, the scenario is you're mm -hmm. in this relationship, and you know that it's bad for you. You know you want to leave, and it yes. You are able to say no, but whenever the person comes around, you just seem as if you're powerless, you just have to give in. I really don't know why. Okay, so you're in a relationship, right? Yes. And it's like whenever the man comes, even, even when you say, that this is it, it's over, and all of that. I'm still Once calm. you are away from the person, mm -hmm. you can hold over. I mean, it's as if whenever the person comes in your presence, it's like you're just powerless. There's some sort of control over you, and the minute the person leaves, it's like you get back that that, that which was there before. Wow. It just comes back. Wow. Is there anybody who's watching? Who, no, I'm, I'm who agrees with, no, not you, Sister Janet, just asking the Facebook listeners, is there anybody who understands what Janet is talking about? You're in a relationship with a man or a case where you're not with the person, you probably were in a relationship with the person. And for some reason, every time this individual comes around, it's like there is this domineering thing about the person and the person gets sexual gratification even when you really didn't want to. And it's like in that moment, you feel as though you can't fight back because this person comes so strongly. Is there any person? I, I know the answer to this question, but I'm still asking, I'm still giving you a chance. Is there any other person who has experienced this? Beverly says yes. Veronica says yes. Tanya Lee says yes. Now, those of you who are currently experiencing, 
experiencing it, I want you to type currently in the comment section so I may know who it is that I need to pray for. Just type currently, quickly. So is that the situation you're in, just to be clear? Yes. Okay. It is. Okay. Hallelujah. So let me ask you something. Do you have a child with this person? No. Does this person have a key to your home? No. What makes you let him in? Uh, so come here like at odd hours and because of the type of community that you live, the first with their banging, 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 and it gets very annoying. And then the neighbors and everybody, you know, they just just avoid all the persons staring at you in the morning, just to avoid all of that. That's it. This man is a bully. This man is a bully. This man is a manipulator. This man is a controller. When he knocks on the door, what kind of feelings go through your head? How do you feel within while he's knocking? How do you feel? Like you have to open? I just want you to tell me what thoughts you process during I mean, that time. All right. Most of the time, I would just lay and pretend that if I don't hear, because deep down, I really don't want to. But then it's like, I just have to just get up and do it. Something makes you feel like you have to. You know... This is the perfect opportunity to lead you to Christ. Because who Christ sets free is free indeed. And when Christ looses an individual, when Christ says you are free from this situation, when you talk no dog bark through Christ, Are you hearing me? Yes. Do you want to receive him wholeheartedly today? Yes. Praise God. Put your hands together. Let us pray. I will pray and you just repeat after me. Okay. Father. Father. I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come to you because I need your help. I come to you because I need, I am in need of your help. Father. Father. I have sinned against you. I have sinned against you. In more than one way. In more than one way. And I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. For every sin I've committed. For every sin I've committed. For every iniquity. For every iniquity. And transgression you have found within and, me. And transgression you have found within me. I am sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Wash me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Purify me. Purify me. Empty me. Empty me. Sanitize me. Sanitize me. Sanctify me. Sanctify me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Deliver me, O oh Lord. Deliver me, O oh Lord. I want to be free from this situation. I want to be free from this situation. Loose me, O oh Lord. Loose me, O oh Lord. I want to walk in my freedom. I want to walk in Christ's freedom. I want to walk in my freedom. 
I want to walk in my freedom. I want to be confident when I say no. I want to be confident when I say no. I want to know that I can say no. I want to know that I can say no. I want you through your spirit. I want you through your spirit. To raise up a standard for me. To raise up a standard for me. Lord. Lord. I yield to you today. I yield to you today. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Come into my life. Set me free. Set me free. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Just lift up your hands for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to have you do something, but... Of course, because we want to keep your identity uh, confidential. I'm going to say a prayer. And at some point, I need you to call his name. Okay? But okay. you're going to whisper that part, okay? <clears throat> you're going to no say problem. it either in your heart or very softly. All right. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let's go. And the others of you who are watching, it's your time to do the same. Just raise your hands right now. You're in a similar situation as this woman. What is the situation if you've just joined? You're a woman in a relationship or was in a relationship with a man. And the relationship, of course, has fizzled out. It's, it's no longer... But for some reason, the man just still keeps coming around. And every time he comes around, it's as though you, you feel forced to do things with him that you really don't want to do. It's like once he's in your presence, you lose control and you don't gain back control until he leaves. Yes. Just lift up your hands, please. Because these things are highly demonic. Demonic entities are involved. And that is why we have to treat with these matters prayerfully. Because some things just don't break except we pray and we fast. In the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord. Hallelujah. Just say with me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I break. I break every covenant. Every covenant I have made. I have made with the name of the person through sexual intercourse. Through sexual intercourse. Through communication. Through communication. And through any activity. And through any activity in which we have engaged in the past. In which we have engaged in the past. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cancel. I cancel. And break. I break. Those binding covenants right now. Those binding covenants right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I give you permission. Lord, I give you permission to loose me in my soul, to loose me in my soul, in my spirit, in my spirit, and in my flesh, and in my flesh. Let every unseen connection between the two of us, let every unseen connection between the two of us, in the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit that continues to give him legal rights to me that continues to give him legal rights to me right now be broken right now be broken. right now be broken right now be broken. right now be broken in the right name of jesus christ of nazareth christ of nazareth 
every connection every connection everything that ties us together everything that ties us together everything that binds us together everything that binds us together everything that attracts him to me everything that attracts him to me. Everything that is pulling him to my house. Everything that is pulling him to my house. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I evict you now. My victory. Now. I evict you now. I evict you. Now. I expel you now. I expel you. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Of I take authority and dominion. I, I take authority and dominion. Over my own life. Over my own life. And my house. And my house. I close the door. I close the door. Through which whatever his name is has been through entering. Has been entering. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I deny him access right now. I deny him access right I now. I cancel his access card right now. I cancel his access card right now. I cancel it to my sexual organs right now. I cancel it to my sexual organs right In now. In the name and power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name and power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I reject him from my spirit right now. I, I reject him from my spirit right now. I deny him access right now. I deny him access right now. I deny him sexual access right now through prayer in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I deny him sexual access right now. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name Nazareth. of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I deny him access to my emotions right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I deny him access to my emotions right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say, loose me, Lord. Loose me, Lord. Untie me, Lord. Untie me, Lord. Disconnect me, Lord. Disconnect me. Lord. Cut the string, Lord. Cut the string, Lord. Cut the attachment, Lord. Cut the attachment, Lord. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands up. I'll pray for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let those strings be cut right now by prayer. Let those cords be cut right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Satan, we visit the hole that you have. Satan, we visit the thing that continues to pull him to the woman's house. In the name of Jesus Christ, we launch an attack against that thing. We pull it down. We tear it down right now. We mash it up right now in the name and power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We speak concerning the man and whatever he's walking with, whatever demon he's walking with, who continues to overpower this woman. We oppose that devil in the power of Christ. Hallelujah. We decree and declare in him, this woman, she lives, she moves. She has her very being as of now. And so in the name of Jesus Christ, everything that thinks it must, everything that thinks it has to, everything that has control, we remove control from you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We cancel this satanic assignment. We shut it down right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now, right now, I command you to be loosed right now. I command you to be loosed right now. Loosed in your spirit, shekatata yekorabanda. Loosed in your soul right now. Loosed in your mind right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
be loosed right now in this hour of prayer in the name and power of Christ. I shut down this plot. I shut down this pattern in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now I have an assignment for you. You're going to pick up that phone and you're going to call that person right now. Is that right? Can he answer? I don't think so based on the job. Well, just try. If he answers, it's so. If he don't answer, that's okay. But let me tell you before you call him, if he answers, what to say to him. Other women who are watching, you can call the person, pick up your phone because you're calling the person right now. Now listen first before you call. You're going to call the person by name. So if the person is John Doe, you need to call John Doe. He answers, hello, John Doe. You're addressing him by name. There is an anointing that the Lord is releasing in this hour as you speak to this person. If indeed in your heart, you are saying no more to this situation. John Doe, you no longer are allowed to come to my home. John Doe. Do not come back here. I am a child of God now. And if you come here, you will run into some serious problems with the Lord. Call John Doe right now. You speak and he will act. You speak in the name of Jesus Christ and you call in his name. I send for the fear of God before you. I send for the fear of God through the telephone before you even open up your mouth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let your fear precede the conversation Yes, Jehovah. Hallelujah. Send your fear first. Let your fear go forth first. Let your fear be felt first. Let your fear be introduced first. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you're not asking this person. You are telling this person. Tell two people you're not asking, you are telling. Did you get through? Oh, she's on mute. I'm on mute. And I want to get some feedbacks from some of you who have actually called just now. I wish I could hear somebody's conversation. We don't need to hear the person. I just need to hear you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you have our number ending in 5163, I'd love to be a fly on the wall. Hearing you as you speak with authority in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. How the how does that sound? How does that sound? So while she does that, let me hear what someone else has to say. The audio is connecting, so let's give it a moment. Hi, 
Hi, Lily. How are you doing? Hi, Minister Anden. Good night. Good night to you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, what's going on with you? Okay, I'm standing in the gap for my husband. I don't know if I can do that. Okay, what's going on with him? Of course you can. Okay, um, well, since 2019, my husband is trapped in this adulterous affair with this woman who refused to let him go. She refused to let him go? Yes. Hold on, let me just find out something. Was he with this woman before you got married to him? No, ma'am. He got involved with her after? After, we, yes, after. Okay. And it's like entrapped, correct? Yes. Um, and oh, I know this now is because the relationship between them got more intense in 2020 we moved out of her home because she kept coming to my home to fight me telling me to divorce my husband and uh, in 2021 i got baptized and god kept showing lord kept showing me now while i pray because i pray like 3 a.m in the morning because i kept wondering does my husband really really don't want to be with me anymore and does he really love this woman because i don't want to interfere with his free will mm -hmm. so i kept praying to god like you know in the mornings and ask god you know father god if it is that he really wants to be with her i don't want to involve i just want to be free i want him to be free but when he moved out of our matrimonial home he started reaching out to me, saying to me, wife, I need you to help me. Wow. And I would say to him, what, what do you need me to help wow. you with? And he said to me, I am trapped. I feel trapped. There is witchcraft. She's working witchcraft. She's taking me to these different witchcraft people to buy we are buying candles i am wearing rings on my fingers wow and i just need you to help me and i kept saying to him oh can i help you he said i know you're one of god i need you to pray but just help me at this point he was living with her and he kept asking me to find him like a one bedroom a little furnished room somewhere he even said to me i don't even want to come home to you and my son because i feel like there's entities with me that i don't want to you know, wow. to come off on you. So this is how bad it was. But when I was praying, when I was praying, God would reveal to me in the hour that my husband is in the trap. Because JD, let me tell you, I watched you a lot and I got a lot of knowledge from you while praying. And I used to, you know, pray with strategic prayers. I would ask God, you know, in depth what I really need to know because even though he's my husband if he really don't want to be with me I would not want to pray him out of what, whatever it is that he's trapped mm -hmm. in and so I would ask God, God is he really in love with her? If he's in love with her I want to step aside but just pray for him and God will reveal to me and say stand for your marriage, he is in trap with witchcraft, mm -hmm. witchcraft. And, and that's God what I'm getting him. to, the man let me tell you what is happening, oh God yes your husband is like he's in a cage and he's crying out for help. You see the day when he said to you, what did he say? Pray for me. What did he say to you? What were his exact words to you? He said to me, pray for me, wife. He don't stop praying for me. And at one point, he, could, he phoned me at, two, at 12 a.m. in the mornings because God revealed to me one morning I was praying and God, God kept revealing things to me because I kept telling God to, to release me from my marriage. And God kept saying, no. I'm not releasing you from this marriage because this is the husband that I brought to you. But I'm not going to release you. You are going to pray for him and deliver him because he needs help. And so when my husband phoned me at 12 a.m. in the morning, he said to me, wife, the vision that God gave you, it was right. Because God showed me the lady walking back and forth in that house, making some chants, and she was crushing bottles, and she was making silly chants. And my husband phoned me to say, Listen, I'm working at midnight, and the little girl, who is her daughter, called me and said to me, her mother woke her up at midnight to go to the graveyard in New Jersey to get grave dirt to put on my wedding pictures. Oh, okay. And God was so revealed to me that they burned the picture of my wedding picture every Friday night at 7, eight, at 7 p.m. And Minister Anglin, did you know that while you were pray praying for this individual tonight, 
while I was praying, the Holy Spirit of God was revealing to me that she went out somewhere and they told her that she, in the realm of the Spirit that both of them shoelace is tied together. Just as you were praying, the Lord was revealing this to me. Wow. That in the Spirit realm, both of them shoe is tied together. Wow. Isn't that Here something? Wow. Before I pray with you, Lily, uh, Sister Janet, are you still with us? Janet, are you yes, still I, there? Yes, I am. Did yes, you get through still to him? Waiting. Still waiting. Okay. Waiting. All right. Okay, you may go back on mute. That's fine. Give me one second, guys. Some people are saying that they cannot see me on Facebook. Just give me one second, mm -hmm. family. Give me one second, family. In the meantime, perhaps you could do this while I just sort this out. If you could just invite a friend to come on, someone who needs deliverance, then that would be amazing. So those of you who haven't yet shared, can you just do that in this little hiatus, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Lily, what's going on here? Okay. Hello. Yes, I'm right here. I'm coming to you in a moment. Of course, similar to what I did with the other person, because we're withholding certain information, Whenever you're going to be calling his name, you're going to do that <clears throat> quietly, okay? You're going to do it softly so that everybody does not hear who it is. I believe strongly that there are many men who are in this situation. Men who are listening, I hope you realize what adultery can actually do. The moment he went into that woman, the moment he fell into her snare through sexual intercourse. He got so caught, he has never been able to come out. He has been wanting to be freed since then and nothing has happened. Can you imagine? Yes. But I believe tonight that there is power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Is there any witness here who has seen him work before and you know that you know that you know there is power in the name of Jesus Christ? Whatever they tie, two shoelaces together, we're going to untie in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I want the intercessors to stand with me as well in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So you said you're standing in the gap for him. You know what? In this case, okay, uh, just give me his first name, please. His first name. Richard. Richard, okay. Just lift up your hands. Yes. If you are in a similar situation, you may just listen to the prayers and probably stand in the gap too for whosoever <clears throat> who is in trouble. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we're making intercession for Richard. You know who this Richard is and you know where Richard is right now. You know his whereabouts. Richard, we find you in the realm of the spirit. We locate you on account of the blood of Jesus Christ. 
which is evidence that the price has been paid for you to experience your freedom. Richard, wherever you are right now, we find you even as your wife stands in the gap for you. For the spirit of God says the two of you are one. And that is why she can stand in the gap rightfully for you, of course. Because you are one and the same in the spirit. And so to her other half, to the man with whom this woman is legally married in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we fly every cage in which you are right now in the name of Jesus. We apply the power of God right now to the door or the gate of the cage. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we unscrew those screws right now. We command, hallelujah, those metal works to melt like wax right now. In the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We go to the place where the shoelaces were tied. And we also go to the place that has his picture and his wife's picture. Where she has the altar in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Where that woman cast her spells. The center of her spell casting where she prays those evil prayers. Where she conducts her rituals for the man. In the name of Jesus Christ, we desecrate that place, hallelujah, by prayer. We locate that spot right now, wherever it has been erected in the realm of the spirit. We command the fire of God that judges and consumes iniquities to rain down heavily, hallelujah. Let a deluge of fire begin to be kindled upon that evil altar so that everything that is being used, oh glory to God, as a device of tying, we lose its power, we lose its grip in the name of Jesus. Let its grip be loosed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We untie right now this man, Richard, from a strange woman in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, if you could do this for us. I know that your angels are holy. Even as you are. But if you could begin to open up the heavens. And cause your wrath to be poured out on the altar. The place of Genesis for this witchcraft spell. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be done right now. Let it be done right now in the name of Jesus. We pull down every high place in the realm of the spirit. We tear down everything established in the spirit against this man and his marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, every device of entrapment we break into pieces. We smash the shackles into pieces. We smash every legs into pieces in the spirit in the name of Jesus Put your hand on your, on your tummy for me. May I see you? What is the hand with me? Yeah, could you just turn on your video so I may see you? Okay. Put your hand here. Have you given the Lord Jesus Christ? Well, you said you are a Christian, correct? Great. Just put your hand here. Okay. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
even as you stand in the gap, I want you to see your husband right now because you said you're standing in the gap for him. So I want you to see him in front of you. I want you to tell yourself that you are he. You're representing him. You're receiving these prayers for him because he's not in a position to receive them. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm getting some instructions for you, Lily. I'm getting some instructions. Lily. Yes. The Lord wants you to do something before I pray. Okay. There might be some things that you said to him or yes. did yes. that you need to repent of. Yes, you're right, Minister Hagley. It's yeah. an argument. Yes. And the Spirit of God says he cannot heal you. He cannot deliver until confession is made for those things and true repentance. Yes. And so I'm going to be quiet yes. and I'm going to allow you to tell God what you did that you should not have done. Yes. Ask him to forgive you from a sincere place. And if you do that, he says he's faithful to do it. He's faithful to yes. forgive you. Yes. I know that there is no excuse for the man to leave because he's in a covenant. Yes. But I'm seeing where there were things that mounted into his eventual going astray. Yes. Yes. There were things that amassed into his decision. And so I'm going to yes. ask that you take responsibility where you are concerned in Jesus' yes, name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, I come before you and I stand, hallelujah, as I stand hallelujah. again for my husband. But I have been wrestling with unforgiveness, Father, and you know, hallelujah, that I've said some things, beautiful things to my husband. And I ask you, Lord, to forgive me tonight as I pray to help me to find it in my heart to forgive him for the things that he has said. And I've done, God, I ask that you forgive me as I come for you. I repent for my actions and for the things that I've said. I've said mean things, hurtful things to my husband, God. And as Minister Anglin revealed it, it is true because he kept saying it to me that I've hurt him through good words and it led to the adultery. And I'm asking you, God, tonight to help me, Lord. Help me to come to true repentance for forgiveness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, because I've been wrestling. And I pray tonight, God, that you lead me to that place of true repentance and forgive me of my sins so I can take accountability and responsibility for my part. Whatever it is that I've done or said to let my husband went astray father got me to adultery forgive me lord tonight as i pray i pray god in jesus mighty name amen thank you jesus amen thank you jesus amen Hallelujah. have you been able to speak with him of late yes but i just since recently I've been con communication with him because it's very much too dramatic. She is telling him that he cannot have any communications with me, even though we have a child together. And it's just been overwhelming. Each time he tried to communicate with me, she taps his phone. So each, it's so much that is going on, Minister Anglin. <laughs> it's just- I wanna, I wanna speak to you for a moment yes why were you so angry with your husband the lord says you were angry at times where did that anger come from the anger came from just me being in a relationships where i got tired of just men seemingly to not really know what they really want and then when my husband came along i knew he was sent from god because i prayed but i did not give him the chance that i should have given him he was a good man trying to do so many things in the home even around you know for my other children but i just had that anger spirit towards him 
Yes. Tell me about your childhood. My what was child, your childhood my like? I think I grew up in a Christian home and my mother, she has always been a servant of God. And I watched my father abuse her over and over and over again, times and times again. On Sabbath, it would get worse. Mm -hmm. When Sabbath comes, it would get so worse, it would get so bad mm -hmm. that we would just seek the Lord for physical refuge. And so growing up as a child, I never really put my trust in men that I was in relationships with. I never, I couldn't find it in me to trust them. And so coming into this marriage, I think I brought over all of that into this marriage. Mm -hmm. I will say this to you, that although there is, you know, this stigma out there or this talk out there that men will be men and that they are d-o-g-s many people would say stuff like that even though they're not true they're not necessarily true what i will say to you is this every man wants to feel safe in a relationship a man wants to know that if he goes to sleep, he's safe. A man wants to know that his life is not at stake when he closes or closes his eyes. You understand? And I am getting that that safety, that feeling of safety in your marriage was somewhat not there. You see, men don't really say a lot of things. There are some men who are outspoken and there are some men who will internalize things and they'll just act based on how they feel. They don't ask no questions. They're not communicate nothing. They don't try to find out anything. They don't try to understand anything. That's my husband. And those are the dangerous ones. Because you don't know what's going on. You just see them act and you can't tell where it's coming from. Yes, that's my husband you're describing. Right. Yes. So he has been having some concerns, I'm telling you. Yes. Okay. Yes. He didn't quite voice them to you. Yes. And I guess one day when he felt as though he ain't getting anywhere with you. Yeah. He decided to to yield to the invitation that he got it's true. from the right. strange yes. woman. Yes, he says it most times. What does he say? Exactly what you just said. He doesn't say a lot. And, you know, he has been bashing up a lot of things in him, you know, and um, he tried to tell me over and over and over and over that he wants peace in his home, peace in his marriage. Wow. And because he was able to get that type of peace with me because of the constant arguments, mm -hmm. it led him to her, even though he doesn't want to be with her. Okay. So and I hope you realize that as part of fixing the problem is like we have to fix you and your issues because yes. the Lord doesn't want to send back the man. And you're running away again. Yes. So we have to deal with you. Amen. Do you agree? Yes, ma'am. Of course. What I, exactly everything that you're saying is what God revealed to me as well. I need to be worked on. I know that. Okay. So I want to deal with some things that the Lord is showing. Just give me one second because I saw somebody asking for the Zoom information. Thank you so much, Sister Paulette. I think somebody has replied with the Zoom information. Thank you. Could you just 
intermittently just put it there on the screen every now and then so that I don't have to break to give it out. Thank you so much. Lily, just raise your hands. In the name of Jesus, I visit the root of abuse, abusive tendencies that have been inherited. I visit the root of anger in you. I also visit the root of distrust in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command every spirit of anger to go now, right now. Right now, right now, right now. I command everything that associates with abuse to go now, right now. Leave her now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus. Contention, spirit of contention. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to lose her now. Go now as well right now right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ of nazareth in the name of jesus i'm hearing something i don't know if you're going to agree but this is what i'm hearing and you can clarify yes, has he ever said to you that you are hard-headed like he feels like you're stubborn has he ever said that to you every day yeah so while I was praying, I heard rebellion, rebellion, yes. rebellion. He cries. He said he wants me to not be so hard headed. Yeah. Go now. Rebellion, come out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go now. In the name of Jesus. Go now. Every spirit that rebels in the name of Jesus Christ, we find you now. We expose your works right now in this woman's life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's we command you to loose this woman right now in the name and power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. inconsistency that too is a part of the reason he doesn't feel safe one minute you are nice you're good and the next minute is something else he said that to me last week you spoke to him last week yes in the name of jesus christ of nazareth let the wind of God, let the wind of Jehovah begin to blow away these unclean winds that are in this woman's life. Father, they came to destroy her marriage. They came to destroy her life. They came to rob her of her peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command unclean winds to go unclean winds be picked up by a greater wind of the Rahakodesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the pneuma of the living God begin to blow every unclean wind away from this woman. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. I call out bitterness and unforgiveness. I call out rage and accusation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command right now you to be delivered in those areas in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of Jehovah begin to uproot those things out of the heart of this woman in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray Lilith that not only Will you be praying and asking God to heal you or deliver you where unforgiveness is concerned? 
But I do pray that in this hour of prayer, you will let go some things that you have held on to. Oh, glory to God. Even some charges that you have against your husband from long time that you never let go of. Mighty God, let them go right now. Let them go right now. For the spirit of the Lord says, if you don't forgive him, then neither will he forgive you. So you must let him go. You must let those charges go. Lest the Lord will hold you to account for every charge the devil has against you in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Every unclean wind. Release her now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. That's it right there. Yes. And so right now, wherever Richard is, Father, I sent forth power to deliver, power to break him loose in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right where he is. We command the yoke to be broken right where he is. We command the chains to fall right where he is. We command, hallelujah, the device of entrapment to be dismantled in this hour of prayer right where he is. We cancel and break the curses that were pronounced over his life and marriage right now where he is. We nullify the powers that have been coming from those evil places that were erected against his marriage in the name of Jesus. Right now where he is, we command, hallelujah, that his eyes will become open right where he is. We unlock those padlocks right now in the name of Jesus where he is. We access the chain, hallelujah, and even the keys, hallelujah. We open the padlocks and we break the chains into pieces right now that are upon your husband. Thank you, Lord. We command the spoken words that his wife has released over him. That have tied him. That have tormented him. That have hindered him. That have interfered with his self-esteem. To be broken now from over him in the name of Jesus. Break right now. Break in the name of Jesus. We abate the strength of those spoken words over the years right now. We command a supernatural deletion right now in his mind. Hallelujah. Whatever words he kept reciting, whatever words he kept remembering that pushed him to make his decision, wherever in his mind or brain those words are recorded, we delete them right now by the miraculous power of Jehovah. We command healing in Jesus' name. We command deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. We command that this man will break free in this hour. Thank you, Jesus. Will now have control and walk away in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We lose him internally, internally that is, and externally. Thank you, Father. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank amen you, and amen. Thank you, Thank you, so, I really expect I want to challenge you to do something. I want you to call him and if he picks up say to him you are coming home. You're not asking him. You're gently saying to him, Richard, you are coming home. Yes. 
I love to do this. I just love to do these things. I love to do this. It's not of myself. It's the Lord who puts it in me. And I really enjoy it. It just flows. It just comes naturally. I love this. In the interim, is there anyone who actually picked up the phone to call somebody? Did you call someone earlier? Give me one second, guys. sometime you're going to call you don't have to rush to do this because trust me he is coming home so whether you tell him tonight tomorrow sunday it really doesn't matter but thank you minister anglin thank you so much but confidently softly and lovingly just say to him we're calling baby <laughs> honey I I called him my husband. <laughs> That's what he called me wife, so I said husband. Husband, you're coming yeah. home. Yeah, you need to tell him in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my sister. And I want to hear from you, you know. So I'm then um I always follow you, Minister Anglin. So I text so me. Text me right and now. The Lord always leads me to you. You're a true woman of God. And God always led me, you know, to you. I met you in Richmond Hill. I think you, you know, God always led me to you, you know, even through prayer. My and God. I am so in awe. I'm so glad that, you know, mm -hmm. you are here. And as a servant, as an apostle of God, he's really and truly using you. You are a chosen we one. We give him all the and glory, eh? Yes, and I thank God every day. You know, praise God. We need these prayers. We need these prayer points. Praise God. And thank you, Minister Aquin. Thank you so very much tonight for the prayer. Here. Praise God. And you were on point from God tonight about everything that you called me out on. Praise and I God. thank God tonight. And I hope that I can continue with working on myself with these areas. Praise that I am God. So we can God bless you. Have a wonderful Thank rest you. of the evening. Have a wonderful night. Thank you, Minister Anglin. Okay. God bless you. Bye bye. Sally, stay off. Okay, family. So I am accepting someone else into the room. Her microphone is connecting. I'm not seeing a mail. I need to see a mail. Let me admit this mail because I need to pray for a man tonight. Hello? Hi, Lady Sandrine, how are you? Okay, I'm here, Grenade. Hi, what's going on with you? Um, the topic that you're on tonight, I am sorry to in the position, like a position like what you're just talking about. Which one? Is it the one with the woman who said she left the man, but every time he comes around, it's like he takes control and he gets no. sexual gratification? Which one? 
All right, my situation is I am with somebody for seven years and I just started with him in January and we're trying to get married, but he's trying to get divorced now and the wife is trying to get back with him. I think I missed that. Could you say that again for me? Okay, I'm with somebody now. We were together for seven years. We have a son together and I got baptized um, in January uh, and when we're trying to get married, um, he has to be um, getting a divorce now and what we found out from what I'm finding out that the wife is trying to get back with him. So he was with this wife before he got involved with you? Yeah, five years or more before because when I met him, he was with somebody else, not the wife. Okay, so let us take our time with this situation, okay? I was just listening to something else and it just went on your um, mm -hmm. YouTube stuff. And I said, this sounds like something that I need to hear about tonight. Mm -hmm. And so I called in and I got the Zoom information mm -hmm. and that's how I get on here. So let me just make a disclaimer at this juncture. A lot of the things that I've come to learn, I've either learned them, learned them from my own mistakes or from other people's mistakes. And of course, the Holy Spirit has taught me stuff. Yeah. Every time I assess a situation, whether it's my own situation or somebody else's, I learn things. And by learning, I'm able to apply the wisdom that I've garnered to somebody else so that they can either avoid what others have gone through or escape the situation in which they are, they are just because they have gotten wisdom. And of course, it's never too late to make a decision, it's never too late to make a move. So let us see if we understand what's going on. Now, I want you to help me understand when this child came into the picture with this man. So let me just tell you what I understand and then you can clarify. So you got involved with this man. This man was married before you got involved with him, correct? Yeah. Good. Yeah. At the time when you got involved with him, which produced a child, he was already legally divorced, correct? No, he's not divorced. He was living with other persons. Like he was way um, out of the relationship where I got involved with him. This situation is one of those situations that I cannot run through. I think I have some wisdom in this area. And I believe a word for the wise will help. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you clearly. What I'm about to say is going to be a little bit heavy. don't have to listen to me by the way nobody has to listen to me you don't have to but I'll just say what is in my heart anyhow okay again when I speak experience teacheth wisdom and on that basis I'm going to say what is in my heart okay I would not pursue this relationship. I would not. One, because you have found out that he's actually married. He has, does he have a child with the person? Yeah. 
he has a family. The fact that you are now aware that the wife wants to get back to him, that, that's telling you a lot. But he's saying that he doesn't want to go he back to He can say him. anything. Me feel like me, me, me feel like me head at him. Me feel like more of her. <laughs> him can say anything. Isn't that so? Yeah. He can tell you anything. And sometimes they don't actually mean what they say. Him can tell you anything, say him don't want this and him don't want, and deep down inside he does. He's, he's right here. Hold on. I am saying to you, he can say anything. Men can say anything. Here is the right way to approach this situation, okay? There is a breach because of the fact that he's still legally married. Do you agree? Yeah. Good. So one of the first things you would want to make sure, if you so choose to go forward with this person, is you want to make sure that he ain't married. And even if he does not live in the house... I'm sorry? We're actually dealing with the divorce at the moment. So he has initiated it? Yes. He started the process and everything, sir. The divorce papers and everything. So let me ask you a question. I'm just asking you this question. Sure. Has he expressed to you what is the basis of the divorce? Why is he getting a divorce from her? I basically... He told me something, and then one one night I was lying in my bed, and I heard a voice say, "Ask the question again." So I text the question, and I asked the question again, and I found out the truth. Why they get it? Why they get a divorce? What is the truth? They were actually sleeping with other persons, both of them. I could say so much, but here's what I'm gonna say to you. I don't want him to listen to me no. <laughs> water believe him why because he's from there this is what i will tell you this is the wisest thing to do you met this man in the marriage no he, but you said he was married before you met him he was married but they were not together it doesn't like matter i don't i noticed i didn't mention that because in truth and in fact before god that does not matter it doesn't okay. matter and I want you to see it the way God sees it. Amen? Amen. This situation is not being dealt with the way it was supposed to be dealt with. In the same way how this man, I want you to see this too. In the same way how he could leave his wife and have woman, pani wife. 
being legally married to her are the same thing he's likely to do to you. That make sense? Yes, it does. I think about that. Good. Good. There is something in the world they call it karma, but I, I tell you this. The universe repays unto you what you deserve. And it's not even just the universe. Let me come out of that, Shadeen. I'm a child of the living God. The word of God says, whatsoever a man soweth that he shall reap. This situation to me, for me, is a no, no. I just see problems. I just see that this is just going to cause confusion and problems for you. And plus, of course, you know you're going to have to repent. Repentance is going to be needed on your end because whether or not he was living with the person or they've never talked to each other for 10 years, the fact that they are legally bound, it says a lot. When you don't know is wanting, but when you find out, when you know, it's a whole nother thing. The scripture says, I think this is according to the book of James. It says, when a man knows the right thing to do and he does not do it, he sins. So it's one thing for you to do, no, you know, and you get caught up in the lies and the deception, but it's a whole nother thing when you actually know the truth. My foolish advice to you is don't even pursue this. Even if he finalizes with the divorce, it's just wrong for you. Because the basis on which you got together with him, the situation in which you got together with him, it was just wrong. So I would not even bother with it. And you see, if this foundation is not right, if it's not solid, if it's spoiled already, it's just going to deteriorate more and more until there is nothing. Don't even bother go there. I told you the words I was going to speak to you were going to be heavy. And you know, they're not so heavy because I I spoke to God about it. I have spoken to him about it. And this is the thing, um, the questions that I got, like he told me to ask the main reason why they got that divorce. And that was the end topic. Ask again, because he's not telling the truth. And I went again and I asked. And, and hold on, stop, stop, a pin, stop a pin right there. Stick, stick a pin right there. Do you notice that he wasn't honest with you? From day one. He was not honest with you. Oh my God, I could, I have so much to say, but I cannot say them right now. But I'm going to say this to you. No, it's a disapproval for the Lord. It's a no for the Lord. This, no, X, no. He doesn't approve of this. He doesn't condone this. Where you are concerned, the answer is no for you. For you, it's no. If any other woman won't go, they never talk to Shani. You talk to me. It's a no. It's a no. I told you that I heard the word already. Oh, you heard this word already? That's a no? Tell me about it. We want to hear. He told me. I was going to the bathroom one day. And I went to the bathroom. And I said to him, God, what should I do? And I heard the word, you will never marry that man. He's not for you. Clear, clear. And I went to my church and I said it to my pastor. And my pastor said the same thing. He does not deserve you. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So what I'm going to pray for, seeing that you have called, is this. Oh my God, this is so much right now. Because you need to get out of this. You need to get out of it more emotionally than physically. It's one thing for you to pack up your things and leave from one home and go to the next. But it's a whole other thing when your soul, when your emotions are involved with someone. So clearly by you saying he's outside tells me that the two of you live together. Yeah, you live Why are you crying? I 
I know. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. But you're going to be okay. You're going to be all right. Davion, what are you experiencing right now? As I talk with her, I see like something hit you. What are you feeling? Um, I have been through a lot for the past 15 years, a lot. Um, I've been in a relationship where uh, I just couldn't leave tried but as soon as I get to a point turn my car around and go right back okay and um, I have found the shoelaces in my shoe that are tied in a specific way I have had my my mother caught her washing my clothes with floor cloth uh, so many things okay so yes, I'm going to come back to you on that but let me just comfort Sandrine and let me comfort another woman glory to God thank you so much Lord sometimes we go through things and at the time when we're going through them it's so painful that we cannot see any good in the situation but I will say this at the very least that sometimes God brings us through a situation so that we can actually help others. Sometimes God allows us to be exposed to certain situations so we can understand the reality of it. Because some of us, we don't even know. Some of us, we have not been exposed to certain things and God permits it to happen so that we can get the wisdom to deliver somebody else. Are you hearing me? Anybody agrees? Sandrine, yes, right now, Father, I know that she's experiencing disappointment as we speak. Her heart is broken right now. Broken because already she's seeing unmet expectations. Broken because she has had some plans that were built around this man broken because all of a sudden she's not going to have to separate herself from these plans she's gonna have to be divided from him separated from him and it's hard lord already father she's probably wondering how who who is next will she really and truly find that person she probably has experienced failed relationships before and is tired of just going through the same old cycle, the same thing every now and then. It's just the same outcome, Lord. Sandrine, the Lord says to tell you that his plans for you have never changed. Before you were born, there was a plan. And even with all your decisions that you've made over the years, the plan remained the same. What I do ask for you at this time is that seeing that you have gone off track, which so many of us have done, that you will be redirected to the original plan. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. I pray that she will fall back in line and fall back on track to the original plan. I don't know how you're going to do it, Lord, and we do not care how. The how belongs to you.
The how is your prerogative, mighty God, not ours. We're asking for mercy. We're asking, Lord, that you will repair and mend, Lord, damage done by us. Damage done because of what we have done, decisions we have made, Lord. Put her back on that original plan. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. Heal her heart. And give her the strength to let go. Give her the strength, Lord, and the eyes to see the situation the way you do. Ears to hear about it the way you do. Heart to interpret it the way you interpret it, Lord. Because unless she does, she will never leave. She will never say goodbye. And so, Lord, I ask that you will do this thing for her, Lord. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus, give her the strength. Give her the strength, Lord. Let her understand that you have someone for her. Let her understand that if she would just pursue you, pursue your will, pursue purpose, then on her pursuit or in her pursuit, she will be found by the right individual. Sandrine, you're going to probably have a rough night tonight because there are so many things that are going to become real to you. I know that you have heard many things before, but I think because of what you've heard tonight, those things are being solidified. And I, I sense some greater level of acceptance. Yes? It's just confirmation. All of what I'm hearing now, it's just confirmation. Praise God. Well, you needed to hear this. And I pray that now that you've gotten the confirmation, you will make the decision. Do not linger, Sandrine. Because truth be told, if something should happen to you tomorrow, if you should meet in an accident tomorrow, a tragic one, God forbid, and you don't repent, and you're in this situation, Sandrine, there is a lake of fire. The lake of fire is real. And so do this, not so much because of your feelings and your emotions, but because of your spirit. Because if something should happen, you want to make sure that you are safe. And so as hard as it is, as much as he might cry, no, no, no. So no, in Jesus' name. And I love you, Sandrine, and I'm so happy we were able to talk. Yeah, thank you very much. Hallelujah. God bless you, my sis. Davian, could you stand for me right where you are? Davian, have you received Christ in your life as yet? Yes, but I'm, I didn't do my water baptism as yet. When did you receive Christ? Congratulations. Is he here? Davion? Oh my God, I think I just accidentally removed him. But what kind of foolishness you do, Shadeen? I think I accidentally removed you, Davion. Can you just rejoin? I'm so sorry. That was an accident. Can you just please rejoin the Zoom? Somebody please ask Davian to rejoin. I accidentally removed him. I'm sorry. Mm. 
Davian, please come back. Please come back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. Please come back. I don't know what I did. I was trying to do something. Father, please lead him to come back. Please. In the name of Jesus. Please put back the Zoom information in the comment section. Please. Let him write it down again. Oh God, please send him back. Jesus Christ, have mercy. Davian, we're waiting for you to rejoin. The devil is a liar. Why Satan met me accidentally click off the something? Hmm? What could have caused that tonight? His story is very interesting. Did you hear what he said earlier when I was asking him what was going on? He says he's in a relationship with someone. I will say them can't rejoin. Why can't he rejoin? Please rejoin the Zoom, Damien. Just re-enter the information and I will accept you again. Are you hearing me? Let me see. Let me see if he's back. Hold on, let me see. No, no. Oh my God, I made a huge mistake just now. Jesus, have mercy, I made a huge mistake. Hi family, I made a mistake. I admitted all of you and I was only looking for Davian. Oh my God, it's only getting worse. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi. I just wanted to talk to Davian and I accidentally admitted everyone and I didn't want the chaos. Hold on. Just please put your microphones on mute. One second. I see the reason why he cannot join because once the host removes you, um, you can't join. You have to get a new email address. Oh, Jesus have mercy. I don't like that. Oh my God. Why did I do that, Shadi? Oh, you know what? <laughs> okay, just yeah. just mute your microphone for me. Since we from earlier, I had to create a new email address to join again. Oh Jesus, have mercy, Shadi. Why you do that? Why can't you wait for persons to just exit the room? Why you have to take it upon yourself to remove them? Now, when he's removed, he cannot rejoin Shadi. Why you do that? Why should you do that? Okay, uh, Damien, if you could just call this number. If you're listening, just call this number. I want to pray for you. I'm going to give out the number, but don't call. Just Damien, I want to call. Davian, that is. Because if you call, we're just going to hear a lot of beeping, and it's just going to throw off everything. So just allow him to call. Please, I'm begging you. Davian, please call on plus one eight seven six. 319-5163 on WhatsApp. Nobody else call. Please, I'm begging you, please. I'm begging you, please. Okay? I don't want to hear the constant beeping. I just want to talk to him and minister to him. And by the grace of God, we want to set him free by the power of Christ. Okay? I feel so bad. Sure. Plus one eight seven six three one nine five one six three. Davian. Plus one eight seven six three one nine five one six three. All right. Uh Sean. Hi, Sean. Why, Sean? You, you quickly come off a of mute like you can't wait. <laughs> your teeth, your teeth, them look nice. What? How are you doing? Okay, Sean. So what one? one. In this marriage, but I'm going through so much hurt and pain in my marriage, and I'm not going on. What's going on? So, I'm married to my wife, carry her up, and start to come up on this side paper, just turn her back, and me to the one side, me to the one side, and I don't know what's going on. The cheat. I mean, I did for like three, 17 years, so we have a child together. Okay, so when your wife come up find your wife, nobody want you. Nobody want you. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just having a light moment just now, but I feel it. <laughs> oh 
God, Damien. All right. <clears throat> Let me get zeros now. Oh, wait. Hold on. One second, uh, Sean. Okay. Hi. Hi, Damien. Oh, my God. I feel so good to see you again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sean, let me just minister to Davian and then I'll come back to you, okay? Okay. No and problem. thank you, everybody else, for keeping your microphones on mute. I really appreciate that, okay? All right, so Davian, the issue you're having, you said, is that you have this person and it's like, it's like you cannot get away from this person. Tell me something. Who is she? Who is she? But let me ask you, why do you want to get away? What What is it? What's going on there? You don't like her anymore? Because she's, she's the mother of your child. It's like World War III. And a lot of things has happened. You know, um, I think I was tied. There's so many things that happened. I found places in my shoes. Um, um, I remember that day when, when I found the list, I was going to work. chair putting on my shoe and uh while i was putting my right foot in the shoe i felt something in my shoe so i i you know rushed to take my foot out the shoe and then i i was saying uh, my mother was in the kitchen and, and i took the lace up and said what is this why is this in my shoe and my mother like she rushed to grab it away from me and she threw it in the bin i don't know if she, i didn't know if she understood what it was but i didn't understand what it was so um the day ended, and then I got a call from my mother, and she told me what it was. And you know, a lot of things have been happening after that. You know, she, my mother, I moved from my mother's house. You know, I got somewhere else to live, and I felt so uncomfortable. I asked my mother to come and live with me. So she came there for, she was there for like three weeks. And my mother caught her washing my clothes with floor, floor cloth. So what is that? What does that mean in the witchcraft world? Anybody can help me interpret this? She was watch she was washing the man's clothes with floor cloth. And what that mean? I'm gonna try and interpret that for me quickly. What that mean? May understand the lace. So when the lace tied together, it means the two are supposed to tie up together in a relationship with enough if they left each other. But with the floor cloth in the wash, I what I want them mean. I don't know my mother. I don't know my mother was angry about it. And she she said to me, Um, you know, I'm not supposed to do this. And she said, What am I doing? And my mother said, um, how will you for wash my son clothes with my floor cloth? You know, so that's what hold him down. Oh, somebody said to keep him down. It depends on the screen. Somebody said to keep him down. That's what my mother said. So, you know, um, I don't know. But over the years, a whole heap of feeling that's been coming over me. I've been going through a lot. I've lost everything and gained everything back. And I honestly feel God has been watching over me, you know, because I'm a very hard worker. I've tried so hard to get where I'm at, but I keep getting... Let me ask you a question, just a quick question. How did you, how did you meet her? I'm sorry. I'm just getting into your business a little bit because I want to understand the root of all this. How did you meet her? We were working at the same place. That's where we met. We were working at the same place um, in Jamaica. And um, that's where it started. Okay. So what kind of person was she? Because the fact that you have a child with her tells me that something drew you to her so or her to you so i want to understand what this initial bonding factor was what was it she, she was she was she's an attractive woman 
Okay. So she have the Coca Cola back of shape. Mm-hmm. She, she's, a, she's attractive. Mm-hmm. All right. And what else? So you were you gravitated toward that. But what kind of person was she though? Honestly, I didn't know her until I honestly got to know her. Um she I don't know, she's she's demanding. Like she always wants my attention to herself. Like I have kids with other people. You, wait, wait, take a time. What do you say? You have children with other women? How many yes. others? Four. Four other children? And how many baby mother? Four. You're a bad boy. You've done your share. You've actually released your seed, which comes with energy. You've planted your seed in all these places. But nonetheless, I want to believe that you have come to a place of maturity now. Am I assuming correctly? Good. So this this baby mother is which one? The first one? No. Which one? Uh, my third. This one is your third. Yes. So she why she want to tie you? What is it? She don't want the other uh, women to have you? What is it? Okay. Yes. But you don't want to be with her. Not anymore. Okay. All right. So, okay. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God says, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. The thing will look good at the moment. It will feel good too. But there is a place that that feeling takes you. It's more than just the climax in the moment. But there is a literal place that awaits people who make the decision to do things that are not aligned to the Lord's commands without repentance. The beauty about it is through Christ, you can actually tell God how sorry you are for any error you have made. And he says in his word, he's near to those who call upon him in truth. And he says also, if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you of all your unrighteousness. I know you cannot undo having your children. They're already here. And you've had them with whosoever you've had them with, and that cannot be changed. But I must pray that your mind your mind, your mind, your mind will be healed by the power of Christ. I stretch my hand toward you and I pray this prayer. Let the mind of Christ be also in Davion in the name of Jesus. Let the mind of Christ right now, hallelujah, be upon Davion in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. I'm feeling the presence of the Lord so strongly right now. Hana kuriata reku satana koshoto rebeko soto rabo kanda. Can you stand for me, sir? Hallelujah. What are you feeling right now? What's going on? Your body's twitching. That's telling me a lot. 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's telling me a lot of things right now. So we're going to get to work through prayer. Rahate de rebo shika rama sata la kandi ribiota. I want you to pray with me before I pray for you. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me of all my unrighteousness. Pardon my iniquities. Lord, I've made a lot of mistakes. I've committed even presumptuous sins before you. Before you. By the way, anybody who is on Zoom who's in a similar position and who's watching on Facebook or YouTube, open up your mouth with me. It's a time of deliverance. Hallelujah. This man is going to be loose tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Say, Lord. wash me and cleanse me blot out the ordinances of sin that are against me i receive you not only into my circumstance but into my heart i know that in you is safety I know that in you, Jesus, is power. Is power. Power to deliver me. Power to uproot everything planted in me. In me. I break every covenant. Every ungodly, covenant every ungodly covenant that I have made, made with, a woman, with a strange woman in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I, break I break every soul tie, every soul tie to women who are not my wife women who are not in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let the power of Christ begin to disconnect me now. Disconnect me from everything that has merged me to a strange woman. From everything. From everything that has merged me to a strange woman. Let every power that has knotted me to this woman, Lord, be broken tonight as I submit to Christ, as I surrender my heart, as I surrender my life to Christ. Look at me, sir. Sister Marlene, please to put your uh, your phone or your microphone on mute. Thank you. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I call out everything that Satan has put in you through witchcraft, every voodoo power in you. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break you now. I uproot you right now, every voodoo power every witchcraft power i visit the source of what the tying has done to you in the name of jesus christ i command the fire of god to devour the source i desecrate the source with the blood of jesus christ of nazareth i command that you be untied right now i visit everything that has tied you and every area of your life in which you are tied and i should be an a servant of the living god i unknot you right now i untie you right now in the name of jesus christ I Pull out every lease right now in the name of Jesus. I break every power of bewitchment right now. Every power of witchcraft I terminate and root out of this man's life in the name of Jesus. 
right now. Look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, come out of him now. Every unclean spirit that has been sent, assigned to monitor him, to stop him from going forward in relationships and even marriage, come out now, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, right now, come out right now. Let him go right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I apply the power of Jehovah right now into your body. And I command everything that has been tracking you, everything that has been controlling you to be stripped of its evil powers right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command every strong man assigned to you to be bound right now. Every spirit of divination that was assigned to you, I bind in the name of Jesus and I unassigned right now by the power of Christ. In the name of Jesus, I unknot you around your waist right now. I unknot you even where your sexual organs are. I am not in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am not your mind in the name of Jesus. I am not your neck in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am not your hands. I am not your feet in the mighty presence name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, I see you burping. I command everything that is within that needs to go to begin to go right now, even from the root. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is in your body that does not belong there, everything that you were given through deceit, everything that you were given in disguise, everything that, hallelujah, came to you, hallelujah, from somewhere, hallelujah, that was in secrecy or something that was done, hallelujah, with a, a hidden agenda in the name of Jesus, right now be uprooted out of this man in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let the power of Christ begin to empty him now, right now, right now. Everything in his soul that is not of Christ, go now, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every spirit of the snake, I see, go now. So he's actually twitching, moving right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth he's moving his head hallelujah he's touching his stomach clearly something is going on what are you experiencing damien davion sorry very good so there is something inside that is coming out in the name of jesus christ of nazareth Hallelujah, the device, the device, the internal thing that has bonded you to this woman through witchcraft. I mash it up now. We mash it up now. I agree with an intercessor who's watching. We mash it up now in the name of Jesus. Come out now. In the name of Jesus Christ, with the root, come out now and loose him in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you digested, whatever you swallowed, right now the power of Christ uproots you. Right now the power of Christ exposes you. Come out now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will not, you will not hold down this man. You will not tie up this man. You'll not tie up his destiny. I lose his destiny. I lose his vision. I lose his purpose. I lose his joy, his peace of mind. I lose in the name of Jesus as well. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There is a fire that is being kindled within and there shall be a tsunami reaction because everything that is there is going to come up and must go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. By fire. By fire. I burn every lace in the spirit. By fire. Every shoelace I burn by fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every food she gave you in the name of Jesus, whatever entered you through those foods begin to be exposed by the light of Christ in the name of Jesus from the root come out now from the root come out now from the root come out now 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We smash the head of the serpent right now. We crush the head of the snake right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. You're going to come out of his stomach today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, Holy Ghost. I thank you for the angelic visitation that this man is having. Because he's getting assistance in the spirit. Do not swallow anything, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's getting up. Hallelujah. We thank you, Holy Ghost. That right now, yes, Lord, he's bringing up hallelujah those things that need to go in the name of jesus yes you're being loosed right now not by might nor by power but by the spirit of the living god i thank you jehovah i thank you jehovah we're going back to food the lord says speak again about the food in the name of jesus whatever unclean spirit whatever unclean entity entered you hallelujah and gained entry even through food you were given Food you accepted right now in this hour of prayer. We exercise dominion and sovereignty over you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Be expelled from his body. Be expelled right now from the temple of Jehovah. Be expelled right now. We weaken you right now in the name of Jesus. And we pull you out. Yes, with the root. Mm-hmm. So he spit out some stuff and something is moving. So he's in some level of discomfort. Yes, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Let him go now, Satan. Every spiritual wife assigned to you, loose him now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirit of blockage, come out of him now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirit of blockage, loose him now. Come up and out of him now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirit of blockage, come up and out of him now. Loose him now. Let him go. He does not belong to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Blockage, go. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Blockage, come out now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord. By fire, by fire by fire by your power yes that's it by your power by your power by your power Ma kuture kiando. yes lord yes lord there is a war going on glory to his name hallelujah come up and out now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth yes lord yes lord yes lord Davian, it's okay you can put it down put down the phone because i want you to be ministered to you can put down the phone i don't know wherever you want to put it it's okay it's okay it's okay yes lord yes lord yes lord let the power of god remove everything that needs to go remove everything associated with bondage everything that has tied this woman to him i break you i break you in the name of jesus i break you i'll mash you up in the name of jesus christ i disconnect you i tear you apart that witchcraft apparatus will smash you into pieces right now in the name of Jesus. So while the Lord is ministering to him, Sean, I see you receiving those prayers. Can you unmute right now quickly? Hallelujah. What is it that you want? Do you want her to come back? Do you want this marriage to work? Or are you seeing who this individual really is? What is it that you want? You want what? You want the will of God to be done. So that's going to be my prayer for you. Can you raise your hands? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sean, I can't, but I can't understand. But look how the man look good. Look how the man look good. And woman out there want husband. But Sean, look how woman want husband. Ask my dear, show you where? Eh? I'm 
Were you in a relationship with someone from back home? My wife. Oh, she? Yeah, but yeah, before we came to 2017. Okay, let's see if there's any witchcraft. Just raise your hands in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, you are light, and your light has come to expose every work of darkness. Let your light shine forth in his life right now. If there be any witchcraft in his life, if there be any witchcraft in his marriage, right now in the name of Jesus, we put a halt to those activities now. If there be any witchcraft, we right now shut down every witchcraft activity in the name of Jesus. Right now we interrupt witchcraft activities against this man in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now we cancel X's and spells that were cast over this man in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ, we retrieve everything Satan has stolen from this man in Jesus' name. We bind the spirit of infirmity that has caused him to be sick from 2017. We bind you in the name of Jesus. We cancel every satanic pattern that manifests in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that the will of Jehovah will be superimposed in your life. Yes, Lord. And so, if it is God's will for you to be with this person, let it be. Amen. Let there be a reconnection. Let the bonding happen again. If this is Jehovah's will, I superimpose his will into your life. I prophesy that his will be done, whatever his decision is. So if his will is for you to move on or to go back, I should in Anglin, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now, on this, the ninth day of December 2022 at 9.46 p.m., I decree a righteous decree concerning you, Sean, that the will of our Father for your life and for your marriage is being superimposed right now. Anything we need for mash up, I go mash up. And whatever needs to be restored must be restored in the mighty name of Jesus without you having to try too hard in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Davion, what did you bring up? Hallelujah. Flem, how are you feeling? How does it feel to be relieved? What do you mean by you feel relieved? Explain the feeling. Praise God. Praise God. So do you feel free? Praise God. It mash up. It mash up. Now I pray that you will walk a holy walk and that your fear for the Lord will be turned up another notch. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will be joined to your purpose mate, your help mate under God. Be joined to her, be joined to her, be joined to her. Just because you have a child with someone does not mean the person is your purpose mate, but be joined to your purpose mate, whoever she is. In the name of Jesus Christ, be joined to her, be joined to her in Jesus mighty name, amen. God bless you and thank you so much for calling. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So just stick around the others of you. I'll attend to you shortly. Father, I thank you for all those who joined tonight. I thank you for the many ways in which you have moved in our midst. I thank you, Spirit of the living God, for the many people who were delivered tonight. I thank you for the many people who experienced freedom in their situations. I thank you for your presence and I thank you, Lord, for your love, because it is your love that has set us free. It's your love that sent Jesus to the cross. It's your love that has paid the price for sins. It's your love that came to set the captives free. So we thank you for your love. 
We thank you, Lord, that we had a great time being edified while worshiping you today. We ask that every person who was here will leave here with something, a piece of wisdom that they can apply to their life and probably to the lives of others. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now, remember that I see you tonight, rather tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time right here on Facebook where I will be delving into the holy word of truth. I will be ministering the word of God. I'm going to be opening up the scripture. So see you tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. I love you, but the Lord loves you way more than I do. Tell two people, you got to make sure you hit the follow button and you got to make sure you turn on your notification bell. Also, remember to look out for scammers who are sending you all these links in the comment section, replying as though they are a part of my team. They're not. Some of them who are replying, telling you, sign up for Mr. This and Mr. That. I don't have an orphanage, by the way, and we have only two legitimate numbers for the ministry. 876-319-5163, 876-433-7272. See you tomorrow night, Saturday night, again at 7.30. God bless you, everyone. Hallelujah. Okay, everybody 